Lisa, and I'm bringing you a wig review today for Wig Studio One. Make sure that you are subscribed to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. We also have a private Facebook group at Wig Studio One, and it's called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. It's a great group, lots of people in there sharing lots of really, really great information. So today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new style from the Beltra City Collection, starting to explore the Italian cities. So this one is called Modena, and the color is Cake Batter Blonde. More on her in just a minute. Okay, this style, Modena, is so pretty. Really nice layered style. Kind of reminds me of a shorter Laguna Beach with a middle part instead of a left part. But really pretty. Has some face framing layer, layers, a uh, curtain bang that will sweep to the side, or I think if you wanted to, you could shorten that bang and get more forehead coverage. So just a really, really pretty style. Okay, let's take a look at the lace front. So the lace front is extended, so you have that ear-to-ear -ear coverage, which is really, really nice. It extends way down the ear tab here. And of course, the knotting on this light cake batter blonde is very light, very natural looking across the hairline. And then, like I said, it is a middle part. There's a little bit of room within that parting space, or if you don't like the middle part, you can always, at the lace front, take some hair more to the side to get more of a side part look. So I'll show you the ear tabs. This wig is average size, and I am considered to be petite. My circumference is 21 inches, but it's fitting me fine ear to ear. Forehead to nape, there's some extra room, which I would expect, and it's also a wefted cap, which has plenty of stretch. Um, so in the circumference, I didn't have to bring in the adjusters, but I probably could bring them in just a tad. Uh, but so it, it's fitting, you know, it's okay. It's a good fit for petite, um, average, and I think average plus as well. Okay, let's take a look at the measurements for Modena. So on the sides, we have six to 12 inch layers. So you'll notice all this layering. The six inch I imagine is this curtain bang. And then we go down to a 12 inch layer here on the sides. Really, really pretty. Uh, the nape is nine inches. So uh, just enough hair to do some styling, which is nice. And then they give an overall measurement of 16 inches. Weight-wise, she is 4.3 ounces. Okay, here's the inside of the cap. So there's that middle part. There's a little bit of room in there to change your part, a little to the left, a little to the right, but it's gonna be mainly right down the center there. But like I said, you could bring it apart, you know, across the lace front here and get a little more of a side part look. So here's that extended ear-to-ear -ear lace front. Looks very, very good. Plenty of uh, lace front to give you a, such a natural looking hairline. Soft ear tabs with metal stays. Open wefting all through the cap. Extended soft felt nape with Velcro adjusters. And these are the Beltress heat friendly fibers. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful color. So this is the Cake Batter Blonde. Uh, number codes for this color are 16, 22, and 613. This is actually the unrooted version of the Beige Linen Blonde R. So if you like that color, but you didn't like the rooting, and uh, or you just don't want a rooted blonde, this is a really, really great color. I'm happy to see in this city collection a few blondes that aren't rooted. So uh, the description for this one is a neutral beige color blonde mixed with medium and dark blonde highlighted with ash blonde. So you can see the dimension there of all the different blondes. Of course, no rooting, you know, you're gonna have those blondes right from the parting all around the face. Beautiful, beautiful dimension. This is natural light right by a window before I take the wig outside. Again, you can see the ash blonde highlight, the light and the dark blonde going through it. Just very, very pretty. Okay, so it is partly cloudy and I am right on the edge of my patio cover. So again, showing you the dimension in that color. There's the lace front. Okay. 
okay, we can take a look at styling, glasses, things like that. Uh, she's very, very easy to tuck behind the ears because she's very low density. No permatease, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that, but I'm not feeling any permatease, which is typical for the Veltress brand. So glasses go on very easily. You can put them up on your head. You just want to be careful when you put glasses up on your head, of course, that your wig is secure. So, but she looks really cute with a headband. And with a headband like this, with the middle part, you can get those bangs to stay back in the headband if you'd like to, or you could pull them out and just have them right around the face, you know, however little or how much that you want to show. And that's a very, very easy way. I love using headbands on heat friendly fibers because they're very, very gentle on the fibers. But you can also get her to clip half up and half down. And again, that bang layer is going to want to be by the face, but I love that. I think it looks very, very pretty and very natural. And then she should have the length with a nine inch nape. Yeah, we've got enough length to do a little pony again. Just let some of the hair be by your face. You could do a little pony or you could always twist it. And put a little clip back there. For a cute little updo. So really, really fun, easy little style to work with. I think she's super, super. Thank you so much for watching today. There will be purchase information in the description box down below this video. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time on the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. Don't forget you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye.